everyone ready? Aye. Good evening. I'd like to call the order our town uh, regular council meeting on July 13th for the town of Batesburg, Leesville. Um, it is uh, about one minute after seven. It's a beautiful town hall complex in Batesburg, Leesville. Um, at this time, I'd ask Councilmember Prouse if you would lead us in an invocation, please. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Lord God, I'm grateful to you tonight for your grace and for your mercy, the love that you show us on a daily basis. Um, I'm thankful, Lord, that we're all able to be here tonight um, to do business with that, the, the town that is set before us. And I pray to you, Lord, that we, um, we keep our minds open and our hearts ready to receive uh, and we move forward with the business uh, expeditiously. And uh, we achieve that which you set out before us um, to be prosperous and beneficial to us all. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. At this time, uh, we stand for the pledge led by Council Member Coleman Gambrell. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which it stands, one the nation, one the God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, sir. At this time, I would like a uh, motion, item four, motion of approval of agenda. So moved. Mr. Gambrell, do I have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Hall, any discussion? District two. Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yeah. District 6? Yeah. District 7? Yes. District 8? Yes. And I vote yes. The agenda has been approved. Um, item 5, adoption of the minutes. Regular council meeting June 8, 2020. You have a motion to adopt. So moved. I'm Mr. Prouse. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Wise. Any discussion? District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yeah. District 6? Yes. District 7? Yes. 8? Yes. And I vote yes. The adoption of the minutes from the regular council meeting June 8th um, have been adopted. Uh, minutes from the special council meeting June the 10th, 2020. Do I have a motion to adopt? So moved. Mr. Gambrell, do you have a second? Second. Second, Ms. Etheridge, any discussion? District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yes. District 6? Yes. District 7? Yes. District 8? Yes. And I vote yes. The special council meeting minutes from June 10th have been adopted. Item C, council work session minutes from June 22nd. A motion to adopt. So moved. Mr. Hall, do you have a second? Second. Mr. Prouse, any discussion? District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yeah. District 6? Yes. District 7? Yes. District 8? Yes. And I vote yes. The council work session minutes from June 22nd have been adopted. Item D, special council meeting June 24th. Uh, motion to adopt. So moved. Mr. Prouse. Second. Second, Mr. Hall. Thank you. Any discussion? District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yes. Yeah. District 6? Yes. District 7? Yes. District 8? Yes. And I vote yes. Special council meetings for June 24th have been adopted. Um, the mayor's report. The next regular council meeting um, is August the 10th. 2020 as we get into the dog days of summer council committee reports uh, central midlands uh, council member hall anything to report yes uh, we held our meeting on june 25th it was a virtual meeting versus via zoom had 29 participants had an ex had an extensive agenda uh, including the budget for the coming year i've included and in i hand out for each of you the major items that were were covered. Uh, the approval of the budget, $14,209,523 is their actual operating budget. There were some comments about uh, approval of the budget with the stipulation that salary increases incre included in the budget were not to be uh, 
actually allocated until the board had a chance to take a second look at it later. Uh, also of interest was the fact that uh, the Camden, uh, Elgin, Blue Gulf area are putting in a uh, transportation system similar to Comet and it's being provided 100% the first two years under the CARES fund, which is our uh, pandemic, uh, a special pandemic uh, fund that was set up. Uh, however, after that uh, two-year program, they're talking about some of the costs, which looks like would be comparable to what we would, might be facing. Up to six trip, up to six day week service, so uh, would average about two hundred seventy four thousand uh, dollars. But that's the highlights. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Thank you. Um, EPAC, anything, uh, Councilmember Prouts? EPAC did not meet in the month of June. Thank you, uh, sir. That's the report. Um, and Joint Municipal did not meet um, in the month of June. Next meeting is going to actually be in August. Um, Batesburg Leesville Chamber of Commerce update from Mike Taylor. Let me check real quick. I thought Mike might email me something. Um, I do not have anything at this time from him. Uh, but if I do get something from him, I will, I will uh, distribute that to everyone. Um, Ms. Judy, do we have any public items? Yes. Thank you. Moving on to item eight, unfinished business. Discussion of possible appointment of a representative to serve on the Comet Advisory Board. Do we have anyone, uh, did anyone come up with someone to nominate? Any nominations? Any nominations for the Comet Advisory Board in Columbia? Only person I know is Steve said that he wanted to be on the committee and he sent out an email so everybody in here knows that. Okay, so I have a nomination. A uh, motion for Steve to be on the committee. Uh, do I have a second? Just join me with a second. Thank you. Um, any discussion? Mr. Chair, I move the nominations come to a close. Second. We All right. So without any objection, <coughs> close nominations. Thank you. Um, any other discussion on uh, the nomination of Steve to be on that? All right, District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yes. District 6? Yes. District 7? Yes. District 8? Yes. And I vote yes. <coughs> uh, motion passes. All right, moving on to new business, we have none. And item 10, manager's report, uh, stepping, standing in for Mr. Muckadoo this evening is uh, Assistant Town Manager, Mr. Hendricks. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Sure. My, my pleasure. Short and sweet, please sit on. Just for, yeah, I'm just going to provide you uh, the information that uh, Manager Muckadoo uh, gave to me. Uh, I wanted to update you on the MASC annual meeting. Uh, as a reminder, the council members plan to attend the online virtual MASC annual meeting. You need to register now at the MASC website. The event is this Friday with the business meeting started at 9 a.m. followed by streaming sessions. Uh, once you register for the event, an email with instructions for participation will follow. 2019-2020 um, audit. The council was provided a letter of the weekly report this past week from our new auditors, McGregor and Company. They are expected to be on site at Town Hall the week of August 10th to begin their auditing process. They are expecting to have it completed and ready for presentation to council by the end of October. Uh, the National Night Out event. We had reported that we were moving forward with scheduling National Night Out for August the 5th with the movie night to follow. Uh, based off the feedback our police department has received from partnering agencies, um, it was decided to cancel slash postpone the event. Uh, until later in the year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, most other agencies will postpone it to October, November time frame, 10th and uh, Since this 2020 is still in progress as of the 9th, uh, the national response was up from 60.7 to 62%. South Carolina was up from 55.5 to 56. 42nd out of the 52 states and territories participating. 
uh, Lexington County is up from just 63 to 63.8 percent, fourth out of the 46 counties in South Carolina. Saluda County is up from 45.5 to 46 percent, 38 out of all the counties. And for BNL, we are up from 55.2 to 55.9 percent, which is 68 out of 271 cities and towns. Uh, in 2010, our percentage was 68 percent. So we still have a little ways to go. And uh, they are still struggling with uh, the door-to-door -door portion of the census. Uh, they're still hoping, uh, my last communication was they were hoping to have the census completed by October. Okay. Um, 2020 Lexington County Seafund Project uh, made a lot of strides in the last couple of weeks. The sidewalk contract has now completed the sections of sidewalk along North Peachtree Street. Uh, this past week on Wednesday, they removed the old sidewalk on Charleston Avenue and the new sidewalk was poured on Thursday. Those are the two primary areas that were in the C-Fund proposal. Uh, we do, they will be coming back out. They've got a, a, a father that is uh, sick with COVID, so they're going to be gone for a week or two. But they will come back to do some of those other spot jobs that we discussed to, to spend the rest of that money. Those were approved by Lexington County Engineering in June. Uh, those were on North Blue uh, Street, uh, Sutherland Avenue, and then there are several spots on West Columbia Avenue promenade area that, that just kind of bumped up that it just cleaned up. Um, the roadway contract was actually in town today um, on Brookwood Drive and at one o'clock when I went by they had removed the old ground, they were packing the subsurface again. Uh, they were anticipating having it paved but I didn't think about it before nine o'clock. So that project should be completed today as well. Uh, the North Lee Street Lotus Lane Sewer Project um, they are completed should be holding a project close up meeting soon with the contract to wrap up everything completely. Um, the Brody Pump Station, the CDBG grant project, uh, which is the installation of new pumps, replacement of the electrical system, installation of SCADA and monitoring equipment, and the replacement of static bar screens at Brodyville Pump Station. Uh, we have received the final electrical shock drawings, and the contractor is awaiting the delivery of the magnetic flow meter, the ultrasonic level indicator. The surge mount and the motor control center. Once these items are received, the contractor can begin work on the installation. And uh, to date, with rain and the new pump, the town pond continues to remain full or only a few inches low. Uh, but when the pumps are running, it fills back up. So it's been working very well. Um, we're hoping to have that completed soon. Um, the uh, wastewater treatment plant CDBG uh, grant liquid chemical feed system project. Uh, in this past week's weekly report of reported this project um, due to aerator equipment failure basement number one the wastewater plant may get postponed until the next round of CDBG funding that the funds for this will be redirected to the aeration equipment and get a basement run back online fully um, hopefully with a floating aeration CDBG and HUD officials have agreed to this change due to changes in current priorities DHEC officials also don't want to see the rota rotating disc and shafts remain and wants to see the plant transition of flow generation. Mm -hmm. um, and as he said, you can see that in the weekly report for the details. And that was all for the weekly report. You also have on your, uh, on your receipt, town financial budget updates. Um, if anyone have any questions, obviously we wrapped up the 2019-2020 budget at the end of June, um, and we're just trying to make the finalizations. And like I said, the auditors will be in August 10th to start that process. Do you have any questions about the report? Or I might take a stab at the budget, but uh, that's more getting more the financial budget down. I do have one, if uh, you may. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hall. I was looking at the uh, monthly newsletter uh, put out, and under DD. DWP Utilities Monthly Cash. I was a little uh, distraught over the fact that it said we had a balance of $89,000 in the DWP cash, uh, cash uh, monthly cash, where uh, the utility fund says we have $260,000. Am I looking at two different sets, two different numbers? Uh, on the same page of the financials, 
Uh, it does show the utility fund check in the 89,947. Is that what you're referring to? Okay. Is that, is that the one you're referring to? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm looking at July 19. So we are, we do seem to, uh, yeah, that seems to be an extremely low number. And, and I will have to get Mr. Lockett to get with you on that. I don't know if that was impacted by the, you know, we, we did fall behind significantly with uh, cutoffs being suspended for a while. Still playing some catch up, but that does seem like a hard time. But I don't have an answer for you. I apologize. That's utility fund checking, Mr. Hall? Yes, that's okay. a utility fund checking. Uh, uh, where typically 100000 has been the previous load. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> There's nothing on the executive session. Um, moving to item 13, potential agenda items for next month's meeting. Do I have anything? For the month of August. If nothing, I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mr. Gambrell, do I have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Hall. Any discussion? District 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? No. 4? Yes. 5? Yeah. 6? Yeah. 7? Yes. 8? Yeah. 8? Yes. And I will. Yes, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.